Plum here, G'day Champions, how's it going? And welcome back to another Division 2 build video. Righto, so I've been getting hit up for ages about PvE legendary builds. And to be honest, before this build, I'd just team up, sit back with a skill build and let the skills do the work. But now I've got this amazing run and gun face tank style build for legendary content, I've got to share it with you. Sure, it's legendary, you can't get too wild and reckless. But my opening gameplay was super sloppy and I still managed to clear floor after floor of the summit on legendary solo. So this build works perfectly solo or in a team, soak up the aggro for any content. I don't normally use shotties and I'm still getting the hang of it. That's my excuse for my potato aim. Or maybe I should have plugged in my Cronus Max, hey lads. All jokes aside, I'm really digging this build, so I guess we should just get stuck into it and check it out. Here it is, my legendary build, champions. Smell that, smells like a winner to me. One red, six blues, one yellow, and a massive 2.1 mil armor with 334k health. The build consists of three piece foundry, two piece badger, and the memento backpack. I've opted to use firewall specialization for two reasons. Fiery response, when my armor breaks, it sets nearby hostiles on fire. And the second reason is that striker shield. You get maxed out mods for your shield, as well as our damage is increased when we use the shield. This damage boost scales with our armor and skill tiers. So we have that maxed out because we've got six blues. Another viable option would be your gunner specialization, it's fantastic for any solo PvE build. Getting 10% armor on kill, as well as you replenish your ammo so you don't need to restock as much. This is great because I've kind of noticed using shotguns, you chew through ammo so fast. Righto, so the primary gun is the Scorpio Exotic Shoddy. It's so close to being god rolled, and we get 12% damage to armor as well. The talent is called Septic Shock. Shooting targets applies a stack of venom, which lasts 10 seconds. Increasing stacks adds more severe debuffs to your targets. You get poison, disorient, shock, and then the targets take additional damage. These effects are great. Why is that? Because they slow down or halt the movement completely of NPCs, preventing you from being flanked and allowing you to deal more damage very, very easily. The secondary, you can use whatever you prefer. I do have an M87 here with InSync just to try out, but most of the time I've been running something along the lines of a Vector. A Dark Winter or this regular one with Optimus works really well but it's completely up to you champs. Righto, so the gear for the build, we've got a foundry mask. We have the three piece bonus, so we get 10% total armor, 1% regen and 50% shield health. If you want to sacrifice some armor and maybe run the four piece foundry, give it a go and let me know how you went. Max roll of armor, max crit hit damage and a crit hit chance mod. For the chest, we've got the named Badger Tough chest piece, zero Fs, with perfectly unbreakable. This talent gives us all our armor back once it's depleted. Two piece Badger gives us 10% shotgun damage and 5% total armor. I'm in the process of optimizing this one, it's such a nice piece. The next few pieces are pretty simple. We've got a foundry holster with max armor and crit hit chance. The knees are foundry with max armor and crit hit damage. Badger gloves with armor, crit hit damage and crit hit chance. And the backpack that just seems to make every build next level is the memento. Close to being god roll this one, might max it out one day. We get three core attributes with this one champions, weapon damage, armor and a skill tier. And it's got that amazing talent, Kill Confirmed. Killing shit drops trophies. Pick them up to get short term and long term buffs. Short term buffs are 5% weapon damage, 10% bonus armor, and 5% skill efficiency. 
Long term buffs are additional weapon damage, skill efficiency and armor regen. At max stacks we get over 83k regen per second which along with all this armor we have and bonus armor is pretty huge. For the skills, like I mentioned, we use the Striker Shield so we get additional damage. And the way that this build is made, the shield is a skill tier 6. With a little bit of help from the skill efficiency from Memento, our holstered and active regen for the shield is off the chart. The second skill we're using is the Jammer Pulse. Normally one jam alone will kill most hostile skills and give us a memento trophy straight to us, which is instant survivability. Especially for Summit, this is a must have skill. Over to the stats, nearly 750k weapon damage with the Scorpio, and we're sitting at 50% crit hit chance and 113% crit hit damage. Taking into consideration we've got 2.1 mil armor, these are very respectable crit stats. Our base regen is 20k, but like I mentioned before, that goes up to 83k very easily with Memento. So I think we've covered all the bases here, and that's my legendary build, champs. It's not an overly difficult build to make, but it does take a little bit of time and practice to get the playstyle right. Works great solo or in a team. And to be honest, between you and me, it's a lot more fun running around shooting shit than hiding in cover spamming skills. And that's it for me on this one champs, drop a comment below about whatever. Any feedback, build questions, suggestions or ideas, you know I'm easy. Help yourself and the channel, make sure that you've hit that bell notification so you know every time I upload new content. So, did you like it? Then smash that like button, and if you didn't, you can press the dislike. But remember, to support me and the channel, hit that sub button and become a creepy subscriber. And I'll catch you all in the next one, champions. I'm Plum, Plum out.